Rob, thank you. An alleged accomplice of suspended attorney Alec Murdoch faced a judge today accused of committing a number of financial crimes. Former Palmetto Bank CEO Russell Lafitte was granted a $1 million bond. News News' Riley Benson joins us in this studio, and Riley, Lafitte's bond will come with certain conditions. Yeah, Carolyn, Lafitte can pay a 10% cash option or $100,000 to get out of the Kershaw County Detention Center. If he does, he'll have to surrender his passport, remain here in South Carolina, and be placed on house arrest. His attorneys say their client is an upstanding man who should have been released on a personal recognizance bond. There's no danger of him not appearing for court. He has cooperated with the um, investigation. Russell Lafitte claiming he was duped by Alec Murdoch. Trusting settlement money for clients was going to the right place. State prosecutors say the evidence tells a different story. What the allegations are here and what we see is there's a long association between Mr. Russell Lafitte and Alec Murdoch. There's a long association between uh, their families. $1.8 million owed to victims completely gone. Money orders and bank sheets show Murdoch and Lafitte worked together. You get uh, disbursement checks from the trust account made out of client money, made out to Palmetto State Bank, and then Alec would take those to Mr. Lafitte, who would then happily convert those uh, to personal use for Mr. Alec Murdoch. Lafitte joins Murdoch and suspended attorney Corey Fleming all playing a role in the scheme. Prosecutors say Lafitte's argument that he's a victim doesn't line up. His counsel argues otherwise. As soon as Mr. Lafitte found out what Alex Murdoch had done and that he had been tricked, as soon as he did that, he made one of the victims whole and, and, and has been trying to work things out with one of the other victims. Judge Allison Lee says Lafitte's trips to the Bahamas on private planes, access to guns, and ownership in Palmetto State Bank make him a danger to the Hampton community, warranting the million-dollar bond. While he is a respected member of the community and he has not posed any physical threat to any person, um, there are allegations that he engaged in behavior um, that would be less than honorable. Now, a separate hearing on a motion to unfreeze Alec Murdoch's assets was held this morning. Those assets are currently held in receivership. That was in Lexington County courtroom. Now, Murdoch's attorneys are trying to overturn the mandate to return financial responsibility to Alec Murdoch. The judge has yet to release a decision on that motion. For now, live in studio, Riley Benson, count on two.